Hi guys, it's me Lunar, welcome back to another Warzone update video. Season 5 is arriving on August 12th, which is Thursday next week, and we have all the details on Season 5's new content, including guns, operators, Verdansk map changes, and a lot more. I will go over the patch notes when they release next week in their own video as there is a whole bunch of stuff to look at for just new content. So let's take a look at what's upcoming starting with two new perks being added into Verdansk. Similar to lethal and tactical equipment, perks in Warzone are shared with the perk selection Call of Duty Modern Warfare, albeit with minor adjustments to fit the large scale battles currently underway. For the first time ever, Warzone receives two exclusive perks, each with their own benefits that could definitely change how you choose your loadout. The first is called Combat Scout. With this perk, operators receive a burst of infield intel as damaging an enemy briefly highlights the foe in bright orange and automatically pings them. Whether it's confirming a callout or finding someone co-op up in the building behind penetrable cover, this perk only grows stronger if the operator behind it can communicate effectively to their squad mates. The other perk coming is called Tempered. This is going to fundamentally change armor values within Warzone. When an operator is under the effects of tempered, their armor plates are heavier and more reinforced. Only two of them are needed for an operator to be fully armored, compared to the standard three. In other words, tempered allows each armor plate to absorb 75 points of damage instead of the regular 50, but an operator will only be able to wear two at a time instead of three. This unique change also comes at the sacrifice of your perk 2 slot, so choose your perks set up wisely before bulking up with the reinforced plates. Next, two new points of interest are being added to the map. Mobile stations can be placed in a variety of locations in Verdansk, differing from match to match and will offer some unique rewards for players who get close to them. There is also a second point of interest coming, but it's being kept a secret for the time being, and it's probably something to do with red doors, which I will go over a little bit later. Next, at the start of the season, the Gulag season update format as it converts into the classic Black Ops 2 map Rush, specifically comprised of the main Speedball Arena. Next, a new game mode is being added to Warzone called Clash, a spiritual successor to Warzone Rumble. Featuring select areas around Verdansk, Clash pits quads against each other in an unlimited respawn deathmatch to 200 points. Starting loadouts are enabled, meaning you can level up your weapons and finish camo challenges as you hope to defeat opposing platoons. Eliminating enemies will grant your team one point towards victory, but you may want to keep your ears open for contracts, public events as well, that can spawn at any time during games. In fact, plenty of improvements are being taken from standard Warzone modes and being added into Clash, including ping systems, armor plate drops, cash and buy stations, and vehicles. Plus, all damage profiles for weapons directly reflect how they will operate in other Warzone modes compared to just having Modern Warfare ones as the default, making it easy to test out your Black Ops Cold War and Modern Warfare mashup loadouts in respawn-enabled environments. Next, the red doors are growing unstable. Whatever broadcast Perseus set up is causing the red doors to become more volatile than ever before. Beware of those red doors sending you to locations other than the main room, we all thought that was the lone destination point, and above all else, keep your head. This event may also have something to do with those mobile broadcast stations seen around Verdansk. Next, three new operators will be arriving in Season 5. Get access to Kitsune for use in Black Ops Cold War and Warzone at Tier 0 in the Season 5 Battle Pass, and unlock an ultra rarity operator skin at tier 100. Also coming this season are Striker and Hudson. Four new weapons are being added in season five as well, and let's take a look at them. The EM2 assault rifle is arriving on launch. A full auto assault rifle, well-rounded British rifle with good firing control, built in low zoom optic that improves accuracy. It has a slower fire rate, but a more reliable range. Obtain the EM2 for free and ready to use in Black Ops Cold War Warzone at tier 15 of the Season 5 Battle Pass. Next, the Tech 9 SMG. The semi auto submachine gun, improved accuracy for longer ranges with low recoil and a slower fire rate, but has good damage output with moderate range. You can obtain the Tech 9 for free and ready to use in Black Ops Cold War and Warzone at tier 31 of the Battle Pass. Next, a new melee weapon, the Cane. Available at the start of the season as well, prepare to settle your disagreements properly with the modicum of decorum with the Cane, a bludgeoning tool that is classy as it is deadly. Last but not least, a new secondary weapon called Marshall. A break action pistol, hand loaded double barrel pistol which fires 12 gauge shells. It has excellent damage at close range with a one shot kill potential. 
The predecessor to a similarly devastating pistol seen in Black Ops 3, the Marshall is the most powerful loadout pistol in Black Ops Cold War and is able to clear rooms with ease despite limited attachments. This gun will be available later in the season. And just to end it off, as there is a new season, there will of course be a brand new prestige system with rewards up to level 200 and prestige keys every 50 levels up to level 1000 as is standard. Guys, that is all the content that is coming to Warzone in Season 5, including operators, weapons, game modes, and map changes, plus more. Let me know what you think of all of that in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more straight-to-the-point Warzone update videos and patch notes, and I will see you guys again next Thursday for that patch note video on Warzone Season 5. Okay, bye.